Nathan and his family has, has come and joined us for the last year. He's really been a blessing. Okay, that's far enough, Nate. He's a, he's a serious okay. young fella. And he's really been fun in, in my Sunday school class. He pays attention to a lot of details more than what other boys do. So, come over here, Nathan. Now, I'm going to turn to turn around this way. First, the first question I want to ask you: I heard you can't swim. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so does, does that does that make you a little apprehensive? Not really. I know I'll be safe. You will be safe. That's a good answer because that's what Jesus thought. Jesus was very apprehensive the night before he was crucified because he didn't want to go. And he asked God the Father if that cup could be passed from him. Could it? But he knew the answer. And the angels came and ministered to him, and he got over his apprehension. And we know what he went through. And that's what we all go through. A little bit of apprehension. And it's just a little, a little touchy, a touch of what Jesus felt when he came to earth and died for our sins and paid price for our self-reliance. And I heard that that you made a confession to believe in Jesus. Uh -huh. That's the most miraculous decision you will ever make in, in your life. And based on that confession, we're going to baptize, baptize you the way Jesus wanted us to be baptized. And from now on, you've got a big brother. Mm -hmm. I've never had a big brother. I have a big brother now with Jesus. And you will have one too for the rest of your life. And he will lead you and guide you and show you. Just be patient and, and, and just listen. Okay? So, by your confession, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of his Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and buried in water in baptism and raised again in new life. <laughs> you okay? Amen. You're okay. <laughs> Refreshing, huh? Yay, Nathan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness.